Here's Brantley. The kick in, here it comes. Swing and a miss! Swing and a miss! Swing and a miss! And a World Series Game 7 winning Curly W is in the books! All of you remember this scene, the 2019 World Series, where the Washington Nationals won the first World Series by a Washington baseball team since 1924. Or did they? Perhaps the greatest Washington baseball teams of all were during the 1940s. You won't find much about them in old copies of the Washington Post or Evening Star. You'd have to search through the archives of papers that had mostly African-American readership. The team was called the Homestead Grays. The Grays began in the 1920s as a company team of steel mill workers just outside of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. The Grays were an all-black team, for white people and black people rarely mixed in those days. Much of the time they were not even allowed to. The Grays became very popular and very good. The owner of the Grays was a sly businessman named Cumberland Posey, and he eventually had his Grays move their home games to Washington, D.C. to play in Griffith Stadium, home of the Major League Washington Nationals, sometimes called Senators. Griffith Stadium was located in D.C. Shaw District, an area mostly populated by African Americans, where today stands the Howard University Hospital at 7th and Florida Avenue. The Grays were an instant hit in D.C., often outdrawing the Senators in attendance. The Grays won 10 Negro National League titles, 1937, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 1945, and 1948, and three Negro League World Series titles, 1943 and 44, and again in 1948. Much of the success of the Homestead Grays is attributed to the power hitting from longtime catcher Josh Gibson and first baseman Buck Leonard and cool Papa Bell, considered one of the fastest baseball players ever. In 1947, Major League Baseball at long last integrated as Jackie Robinson joined the Brooklyn Dodgers. The end of the Negro Leagues came just a few years later. Some Negro League stars such as Henry Aaron and Willie Mays moved on to teams in the Major Leagues and had Hall of Fame careers. The other stars of the Negro Leagues who were just past their prime seemed forgotten. But in 1972, the Major League Baseball Hall of Fame finally recognized the stars of the Negro Leagues as several Homestead Grays players were inducted. These players are honored at Nats Park today. Every team in Major League Baseball honors Jackie Robinson as his number 42 graces every ballpark. And on baseball's annual Jackie Robinson Day, every player wears number 42. On December 16, 2020, Major League Baseball announced it will recognize Negro League records as Major League records, giving Washington's Josh Gibson the Major League record for single-season batting average with a colossal 441.